Questions? Yes? Okay, so the, what's the difference between indexical relationship and symbolic relationship? So the indexical relationship depends upon your experience of how the sign links up to a particular object. And you have to say, okay, every time I see this sign, that object is going to appear. Right? And you have to learn it as this sort of association of that experience linking up to these previous pre previous experiences of the sign appearing at the same time as the object appears, right? Whereas the symbolic understanding of the sign doesn't depend upon always seeing the sign and the object at the same time. Rather, it depends upon understanding how that sign relates to other signs, right? And then by understanding the relationship of the sign to the other signs, you can then extrapolate, you can then sort of predict what the object relation will be. Right? So that, um, yeah, so with our, with our monkey training example, you know, it, the, in, in thinking about the indexical relationship, they're, they're learning it first as uh, through experience. They know that, that when they, when they when they tap those two buttons in sequence, they get that reward, right, the banana, right? But they only know it in the beginning because they experienced it. They have, and it, it keeps happening once they t push those two buttons, right? But if that's all they're doing, if they're only learning it through that experience, then when, they, when they're faced with a new sign <coughs> and grape, they'll have no idea what they have to push in order to get that grape they'll have to try all the different sign combinations again, right? Because they won't, because it's only through experience and they've never had experience with the grape sign before, right? But if they learn it, if, they, if, they've, if they've shifted their understanding to say, oh, okay, it's not just about that specific experience of getting the banana when, when I get those two signs, but actually understanding what those signs mean, right? The one sign being give and the other sign meaning banana. And then that once you've got this concept of give that matches up with all these different food types, then you can say, oh, OK, every time I add a different food type, I can just match it with that give sign and I'll get that food. Right? Which is, it's, it's saying, oh, I understand the sign relationship. And because I understand the sign relationship, I understand what's going to happen in the future, even though I ha don't have any experience of it happening in the past, even though I've never received a grape. Once I understand that that symbol stands for the grape, I'll know what to do to manipulate my other symbols to get my grape. Right? I don't have to depend on experience to, to know that. Yeah? So indexical relationship would be like you, like the monkey after you just press the button and then you get like banana. Like it's, it, you know, both of them, is, they're, they're, in both cases, they're both pressing the right buttons to get the food. It's the same buttons that they're pushing. But it's, it's what's going on in their head that's different, right? Um, because, um, I mean, I think it's, it's the clearest with, with the grape thing. You add a new sign, and Lana gets confused. She doesn't know what to do. She starts pushing all sorts of different buttons to try and get the grape, right? Because she, she hasn't understood that she has to push the, the give me sign first, and then, she, and then she has to push the, the food sign second. She doesn't understand that connection, that, that relationship of sign to sign. She just says, you know, she's, she's just kind of randomly pushing buttons and waiting for the grape to come. And then if, if the grape comes, then she says, oh, that's, that's the combination I need, right? But in order to, to understand that, she just has to do it through experience by saying, okay, whatever, just keep randomly pushing buttons so that I can get the grape, right? Whereas, Austin and Sherman were able to say, oh, I understand, the Pentagon means give me, and I have to push that first, and then I can push the, the, the food sign second, and that's, and that's going to get me the grape, because they understand, they already understand how the signs relate to each other. And Lana never did. She just saw them as just sort of these random, each, each thing is a random combination, so she, she couldn't figure it out. No? Okay. 
So why must chimpanzees begin to learn to use signs as indices? I mean, I guess, um, yes? Good, okay, so, so they first have to understand kind of the indexical relationships of the signs before they can understand the sign-sign relationships, right? So, that the, so the sign-sign relationships are built upon indexical relationships, right? It's by understanding the indexical relationships that they can then understand what possible sign-sign relationships there could be, good. So why is it so difficult to learn the workings of a symbolic system using an indexical learning method? Yes? It's just really combinatorically taxing. It's a lot of things to memorize. Great, yes. It's a lots of things to memorize. It's just, you know, all these different combinations, and you have to memorize each combination one by one to know this one's bad, this one's bad, this one's good, this one's bad. Um, you know, once you understand the meaning of the signs, all of a sudden it becomes really easy, right? Um, and how does one make the shift from indexical learning to symbolic learning? How does one make that shift? Yes? Okay, uh, you're learning the combination of two signs. Basically, you're learning how the signs relate to each other, right? That's the key, right? And you're not just trying to figure out how the signs relate to the objects. Well, you have to understand there's a, there's a grammar, right? You have to understand the grammar. You have to say, okay, this sign goes with those two objects and this other sign goes with the other two objects, right? And, and you can't get them mixed up, right? Only two signs in a, in a sentence and then, you know, there's the whatever. The one verb takes these two nouns, the other verb takes these other two nouns, and you understand the logic whereby one verb goes with liquids and the other verb goes with solid foods, right? And you have to understand that logic in order to then to add new vocabulary items without getting confused. Right. Okay. So, um, so. Oh yes. I'm sorry. Because you said that there's a key. So it's the shift from indexical learning to symbolic learning that's the key for like the difference, the key difference between the how animals learn and the humans learn. Yes. Right. So um, the the shift from indexical learning to symbolic learning is the shift from the way animals learn and the way humans learn, or, or the, way, the way the humans uh, are treating signs and the way animals are treating signs, right? So it's only in this very controlled experiment and this sort of constant repetition and training that these chimpanzees are able to actually achieve this ability to treat signs as symbols. Normally, they would never be able to do this, right? Um, but but, but it's significant that they're able to do this with training, right? I mean, um, so that, you know, what we see is that there is this possibility that chimpanzees have of treating signs as symbols if they're given enough repetition of the indexical relationships that they can kind of all of a sudden make that leap. But it's a, it's a kind of interpretive leap. It's just kind of this aha moment where you can't really predict whether they'll be able to do it or not. It's just kind of a matter of, well, you just keep drilling them on this and do, will they ever somehow see this, this higher set of relationships between the signs to each other? It's not clear whether they will or not. It doesn't take any time. In fact, it, all of a sudden, it's, it's really a momentary thing of just having this idea and then saying, oh, this is how it, this is how it works, right? This is the structure of the relationships um, that, yeah, it's, 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 it's not clear I mean, it, it doesn't take any time, and it actually makes the whole task for them easier. Uh, but it's not something that they could, that you can predict that they would be able to do. Right? It's just kind of this light bulb going on, right? And uh, you know, it's it's difficult for them. They're not used to doing this, but it's it's indeed possible, right? Which is which is significant. 